So hey guys, welcome to another video and this is probably the most requested video on my channel ever. Today I'm going to show you my Amprex build. So many people have been asking about this. Now, first of all, before I go into the build, I don't show builds in my videos because everything in Warframe, whether it be Warframes, weapons, companions, melee weapons, it's very much personal preference and it's very subjective. So I would advise you to try out as many weapons as you can and build them in as many different styles as you can, you know, status builds, damage builds, crit builds, just try as many weapons as you can with as many builds as you can to find what suits you best and what you have the most fun with. So I'm using a very crit heavy build. It's currently five format. I'm going to add one more format. It's going to be V for the point strike, probably. And that also means that most of the mods, actually seven mods, will stay the same no matter what faction I'm going up against, whether it is Infected, Void, um, Corpus, or Grenier. So first of all, I have Split Chamber, Multi-Shot. You want that on every uh, primary weapon. Then I have Rifle Ammo Mutation, and you really need this with Amprex. Amprex is very ammo inefficient, and without a Rifle Ammo Mutation, you can run out of ammo mid-exterminate even, and don't even think about taking Amprex without Rifle Ammo Mutation into something like Defense or Survival. You just don't have enough ammo. It chews through ammo so very fast. Then... I have Serration, which has to be uh, two ranks down because I don't have enough mod space. That's why I need to add one more Forma. And that just increases damage, which is good. Then I have um, Vital Sense, which increases um, crit damage. You know, Amprex does a lot of crit, and you can get it all the way up to 125% crit, which uh, allows for double crits, so that's good. Heavy Caliber doesn't affect Amprex at all. It just adds damage, which is cool. So we're definitely going to use that. Then um, I have Hammer Shot. You can change this out for Stormbringer to have more damage but less crit and less status chance. And in that case, the sixth Forma should be a dash for the Stormbringer. All right, but I'm using Hammer Shot for bigger crits because I just like big crits. And finally, I have Point Strike for crit chance, which will take you all the way up to 125% crit, which is awesome. Now for the other factions, you just swap out the infected clip. So for Corpus, you will swap it out for Cryo Rounds, for Magnetic. And for Grenier, you will swap it out for Hellfire, so you get radiation instead of corrosive damage. Now if you feel that the reload time is too long and you find yourself reloading more than firing this bloody weapon, you can swap out Hammer Shot for either a reload mod or a magazine mod. And that's the build! I really like it! It's my derp weapon. When I don't feel like aiming and I just want to jump around and kill dudes by holding the left mouse button, I will take Amprex. With this build, I'm able to go sort of 40-ish minutes into Tower 3 survival solo, after that, though, Amprex falls off incredibly fast. Because as soon as you stop killing enemies pretty much instantly, you're gonna run out of ammo. Now, this is much better if you're running with Necros, which is what I usually do. And with Necros, I'm able to go to sort of 60 minutes. But with any other frame, like Valkyr or Rhino, I will just leave at 40, sometimes even 30. Because I just can't kill dudes fast enough, and I either die or I run out of ammo. And at that point, what are you gonna do? You don't have any ammo. You cannot shoot. And that's it for me for this video. I hope you liked it. I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.